So here is the A clarinet of the MOBA, exactly the same features as with the B flat, with the keys down here, all the adjusting screws. They took a lot of trouble over this, and again, Ricardo Morales wanted an A clarinet that was not going to have the usual problems that, that we know exist with A clarinets. Certain notes stuffy, other parts of the register not quite as vibrant. Um, and so he spent a considerable amount of time making sure that it was right. Coming down here, you'll see a key that's a bit like a bass clarinet all the way to the bottom and it's operated very lightly, no pressure, by the speaker key there. That controls automatically all of those tuning notes which both Buffet and Yamaha have put on to their instruments, one with an extra key here and the other with an extra key on the thumb. Now you don't have to worry about that, you don't even have to learn it because it's done automatically. And the way they've designed the keywork, it's so light, I can even just do it with my little finger. So there's, you don't even notice it's there. Then we come down, we've got locking uh, pads on all of the pillars. The one thing I'd like you to listen to is this. Can you hear anything? Perfect for the studio. It must be the quietest clarinet I've ever uh, played. Um, Carrying on down, notice the way that this is constructed here to take the three lever keys. So it's really solid, really well controlled. And then we have this set of adjusting screws. First of all, in the join there and here. Then there's adjusting screws on the end of every single lever key. There's adjusting screw here, so the correspondence is always correct. There's adjusting screw on the link there plus another screw so you can adjust the height and adjust your venting should there be a problem. You've got an adjusting screw on that key, the speaker pipe that controls that one all the way down there. So again, you've got control over the venting. Very solid thumb rest, easily adjustable, and also with a ring in case you wish to play with a sling. And then carrying on down, you've got these big rings on the joints here with Teflon coating inside and then the extra thick walled bell, which adds to the tone. The whole bore is uh, made with a completely new machine. Gone are the days where you had a reamer that revolved and inevitably there would be some whip. And if you looked at some clarinets up to the light, you'd see a series of ridges. This is like a piece of glass. Um, so the new MOBA, very good, workable, successful innovations that are not there to sell you the instrument, but as a player, when you come and play it, you'll realise that they work. And they've been designed by a player who's done the same things and overcome the same problems as you have, and they've been done successfully. Ricardo Morales, by the way, is principal clarinet of the Philadelphia Orchestra. He was the youngest principal ever to be in the uh, Metropolitan Opera, won virtually every competition on the planet and is famous because he's the only clarinetist which the top five orchestras in the world, including the Berlin Philharmonic, all wanted him to be their principal at the same time. So quite a, quite a reputation. And as I've said before, these innovations work.